Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to get started on part 23 of the Case 310G Dozer Restoration Project. You saw in the previous video we were struggling quite a bit to get the nuts off of the rear sprockets. I was using dad's old snap-on one inch ratchet as you can see here. I'll pop a link to that in the top corner of the video right now. I was also struggling to get the nut hot enough, quick enough with this torch. I was told by the local Ilmo that the rosebud I had was good for propane. That was not the case, so I had to get a new one of those on order. With all of that being said, I'm kind of over the manhandling and grunting with this big one inch ratchet. So I've got an idea, I'm gonna bring you along. That's how you do it. Okay, we have progress. Big old three and a half inch nut, looking good. Throw that back on. And over here, big old sucker. <laughs> uh. If you have an air compressor that will handle it, 
I would highly recommend picking up one of these cheapo Harbor Freight one inch impact. They will save your bacon from time to time. This is about the fourth time I've used mine. All right, that is better looking. Now it's clean enough. You actually want to work on the thing. <laughs> uh, power washing and uh, purple power. If you use purple power straight, it'll just about start taking paint off. While I'm here at the main shop where we have the bulk of our tools, I'm going to try to pull the sprockets. I'm 90% sure that this one is actually already loose. It feels loose, I'm not sure. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. That's awesome. making tracks guys let's try the other side I doubt we're gonna get lucky twice <clears throat> Alright guys, we have our sprockets pulled, the splines are perfect. Finally, a part that isn't completely hogged out on the old girl. Perfect, perfect, perfect all the way around, spectacular. The one inch impact, eight our three and a half inch nuts alive. Here you can see the corresponding sprockets on the dozer, or on the final drive, I should say. Pardon the noise. Luke is in his uh, main bay over there, building away. That's probably where most of the dozer is going to be painted. All right, guys. I'm gonna start another time lapse, get this thing back out to Charlie's. And we're gonna keep going on this, see if we can get seals pulled out of right here, right here, and the corresponding final drive. We'll bring you along.
and just like that, we're back at the shop. I'm now finally going to start turning wrenches out here in Charlie's shop. Got the toolbox open. First thing we're gonna go after are these big covers right here, and hopefully we can figure out what seal is what. Before I get too excited and start pulling the covers, I nearly forgot we have to pull the oil in our final drives. So we're gonna do that right now. Another magnetic drain plug. All right, let's go ahead and take our other side loose. Yummy. All right, we have our final drive oil drained. Now we're going to see if we can take off the outer seal retainer. There we have it, guys. It does look like we have some shims here as well. Let's investigate those. We have everything bagged from the other side. Now we're going to attempt to take off the seal retainer on the right hand side of the transmission and final drives. All right, we have this side off, no issues. The shim on this side seems to be much, much thinner so I have a feeling that these are specific to each side. So I'm gonna get this bagged pronto. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have discovered one of our first problems with our final drive outer seal retaining caps. You can see this one has been machined off where they had, I assume, lost the bearing, the outer bearing. 
Now everything seems to be functional. Everything is centered. The shaft is setting perfect. We have a nice protrusion right here. You can see everything seems to be in good shape. There's no in play that I can tell. Everything seems to be functional. However, on this unit right here, there is no snap ring. We'll look at the other side. You can see we have a very large, the opening is right here. You can see right there. We have a very large snap ring. I don't think it's going to affect anything. Please leave a comment down below if you've seen this, if you've seen this repair before where it's missing the snap ring. It's a little cause for concern on my end, hoping we don't have too big of an issue. With that being said, the seal is still retained perfectly. It seems to work fine. It just seems like this front side um, is wallered out. Like I said, comment below if you've seen this problem, if you know the remedy. It's kind of interesting for me. All right, let's pull our final seal of the day. This one is definitely shimmed. My particular unit has three, four shims, a very, very thin one and three thick ones. So that being said, I feel like our in play leaves a lot to be desired, but perhaps that loads up once it's under a load. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that should wrap up part 23 of the Case 310G Dozer Restoration Project. I have all of the seals pulled. We can get part numbers now, investigate the retaining cap that uh, has ran loose on this side. Like I said, I think we had a bail bearing failure at some point. I'm gonna wrap the video up right here. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe for more. Hit the bell icon so you get notifications when I post future content. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time.